Dude, do I love gloss now? Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, as you guys can see by the title down there, I am showing you my current favorites. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and a little bit down there. And if you want to know my current favorites, then just keep on watching. I have um, a few products that I do want to mention. As you guys, if you guys watch my videos, you guys probably already seen a lot of these. If you guys have seen my prep, how to prep your skin video, I'll link it up here. Um, I do mention the Foreo Luna Play. I have been in love with this. I wash my face obviously when I'm taking a shower and then after I like take off my makeup at the end of the day and it just makes my face feel so smooth at the end of the day so clean I used to uh, just use a cleanser and my hands and just cleanse my face like that at the end of the day but as soon as I picked this up I just I loved it like the first time I used it I was just like why didn't I pick up this sooner so it is an amazing cleanser this one is the one that is battery operated so this one is the one that you have to unscrew if you need to change the batteries but overall like I feel like first for the price I feel like it's a good deal and then going along with skin I have the super goop unseen sunscreen SPF 40 so this is the super glue on um, sunscreen and I actually got this recommendation because of oh too bright too bright <laughs> I got this recommendation because of um, Kathy Lights and she was talking on her IG stories about how she loved um, this uh, sunscreen and have been looking for a sunscreen for a long time to put under my foundation because you have to wear sunscreen even though it's gloomy outside or whatever like you have to wear sunscreen I have been loving this it doesn't make my, my face greasy whatsoever so after my moisturizer has been synced into my skin I go ahead and put my sunscreen on and it's just a really nice way to protect my skin whenever I go outside I know with the self isolating um, you know time that we're all in obviously we're not going outside as often but you still need to take care of your skin and I heard that it's actually really good to just wear sunscreen overall so loving that one moving on to actual makeup so for foundation I have my L'Oreal infallible 24 hour uh, wear you guys know that my red or die is the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation uh, but since I tried this one and I'll link it up here for the first impression I have been loving this it's a foundation like I've been going towards next I have my Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade truffle it's just a um, cream contour that I've been loving. I've been loving cream contouring and like um, highlighting a lot, a lot more now. I think that I've like kind of like perfected my my technique. I think that it has been working better for my skin, and it looks really, really natural. And then I have the Milani Rose Water Prep and Fresh. This is such a nice, uh, like hydrating mist. I just love the way like it smells I love rose water I love rose like the smell of roses it's just one of my favorite scents um, been loving that one so for my brows I am currently using the Pears um, brow soap which is this one because it's like transparent and I've been loving how my eyebrows have been coming out and I just use my uh, hydrating mist to just um, apply a little bit on my soap and then that's how I do my brows I've tried like three different uh, like gel glue things that I've seen on TikTok, I've seen on YouTube and none of those have actually made my brows look as fluffy as they look as this soap does. Um, I think I bought like three soaps for like $8 and I just love how my eyebrows have been looking. It makes them look fluffy, it makes them look like they don't go anywhere um, and it's just it's a really good product. Next, I do want to mention the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And I have the waterproof one because I noticed that this one works a little bit better for me for whenever I do one to do like a cut crease. I actually use a little bit to like remove the um, excess of eyeshadow. I love it when I want to change my lip color. And you guys are going to see, actually uh, film this look. It is going to be a three looks, one palette. Um, with the uh, Kathleen Lights um, So Jaded palette. That video actually changed like lip colors and it worked really well whenever I like try to like be very precise to remove the lip color. Next I have the Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the Glass Slipper Gloss Bomb. And when I tell you, I used to not be a gloss person and I found this one. So when I found the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb, the original, I can't remember the name of it, I just was in love with it that one I was like dude do I love gloss now so then I started wearing it like non-stop I actually have just a, like a quarter left um, and then they came out with this one and it is the perfect when I tell you there's like a perfect lip gloss out there like a clear one 
this is it like it's the perfect clear lip gloss I just love how like juicy it makes your lips look Ugh, so bomb like literally so so bomb next I have the makeup forever matte velvet skin this is a blurring powder foundation and I actually picked this one up because of um, Nicole Guerrero she's one of my OG favorite youtubers here I love her so much um, and she has talked about this multiple times on her, her videos and I really wanted to pick it up and yeah it is blurring like my skin looks flawless when I use this to set my foundation it just it lasts throughout the day really really well and I feel like it really, it's really compact to just put in your purse as well next I have a MAC um, highlighter and this is the shade whisper of guilt if you guys have seen my videos you guys know by far the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter it's like my favorite highlight of all time but I'm running like really low like I've hit pan and I just want to prolong it as long as I can and it's just my go-to now um, just because I don't want to run out of the other one and I don't know if Anastasia is gonna bring it back she did bring back the Nicole Guerrero's glow kit so I'm thinking she may bring the Amrezy. If she does, like I'm gonna buy like two because I, I need that highlight in my life. Um, but yeah, this is the one that I've been loving lately. It's just a very, I think it's a nice dupe for the Anastasia one. It gives you a really nice glow to your skin. It doesn't look chunky, it doesn't like have glitter. I just, I really like how it looks. Next, I have a blush. This is a MAC blush in the shade Peaches. And this one I picked it up last month. Again, this is a recommendation from um, that's the swatch right there. It's really pretty. It's really natural. Nicole Guerrero used to rave about that blush like years ago and I finally picked it up and it's what I'm wearing today. Really nice, natural, like everyday blush. Okay, so next I have the ColourPop lipstick in the shade Aquarius and this is the lipstick that has been like in my purse. Like I don't take it out from there. Like I'm gonna go and put it back in my purse because it is the perfect like um, pinky neutral shade um it's like my lip color but better it's a cream so it makes your lips a little bit glossy like it is not matte and it just really like how my it makes my lips look i have three eyeshadows that i do want to give a shout out to because i have been loving and are my like go-to everyday um eyeshadows the first shade i have here this is um had me at yellow and it's just a really nice like all over crease um shade the order that I'm telling you is like the order that I put on my eyes for like everyday makeup look. Uh, the next one is Tiki Hut and I have been waiting for this one to be in stock. Um, this is like an oldie but a goodie. This is a true like camel color. And this is Deja Brew which is a really nice um, coffee color. So I've been loving those shadows lately. And then the palette that I've been like playing with and I cannot put down. This is the Beauty Bay in Mimi Mitchell palette it is such a stunning palette let me just show you one of my uh two of the shadows actually broke because it was an accident so this is the palette right here as you guys can see it has it's kind of like rainbowy so it has your like pinks and yellows on this side and then on this side it has the browns blues and kind of like purple and I feel like it's such an amazing palette if you like playing with colors and colorful eyeshadows I feel like it's such a great investment the pants are really big and so you have a lot of product there and then it comes with a magnetic um, mirror that you just plop it in here actually it's the wrong way plop it in there and then you have like a travel kind of like uh, mirror so it's it's a really really good palette the last two things I want to talk about are three brushes uh, lately I have been playing a lot with makeup and just practicing my skills and I feel like um, and so I wanted to mention these brushes because they've like I don't know they're different brushes but uh -huh. okay so the first brush has really helped my technique and I just need to pick up a thousand of these. And I feel like it's a really nice brush so you can blend your eyeshadow. This is a Morphe M514 and it is a white brush or white hair brush. And it is the perfect shape. Um, and then it's perfect, like the size is perfect to just go into your crease and be able to like blend everything upward. It's I've noticed a big difference on how my um eyeshadows like blend with that brush and the next one I finally picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B it's extremely tiny extremely thin and I finally picked it up I'm like in love with this it makes 
the heart hair strokes on my eyebrows look like little like hair like I actually have hair there and it's just such a good brush uh, I don't think a lot of people talk about it and I saw this brush from a Wayne Goss um, video that he put up about like amazing eyebrow technique it's such an underrated brush I feel like everybody if you like fluffy and like doing like hair strokes I feel like everybody needs that brush and the last one I have here this is a Morphe M515 and it is a tiny brush this is a really tiny pencil brush and I use it for um, uh, placing my pigment in my inner corner. As you guys can see, it's super tiny, but I feel like it's the perfect size to just go into your inner corner and place pigment or whatever shade you want to use there. If you do pick up any of the products that I mentioned in this video, please let me know how you guys are liking those products. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, the products that I mentioned in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!